Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cause and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to explain or shows how SCCM reboot works. Um, I'm going to show the different screen, different options available. So now let's take a look. Look at this two screenshot here. One is the it's a bigger screenshot. It's a, it's a rectangle. And there is an options to restart and there's a snooze. And look at the right pane. This one just says restart. This is a balloon pop up that shows that came on um, after Windows update install or any application install that you uh, reboot using SCCM reboot. This shows up in the lower right corner. This also shows up in the lower right corner. This will stay on until you hit snooze. And this doesn't stay on. This came on for like two seconds and it disappeared. So now let's take a look at the settings in SCCM. All right, first of all, I'm going to create a um, a client setting for reboot. I'm going to right click on client settings, choose create custom client device settings. I'm going to call this um, custom reboot. And then I'm going to check the restart. Computer restart. I'm going to click OK. Now it's created, and let's go back in and change the settings. Right click and go to properties. Let's go to computer restart. So here's, here's the default settings. As you can see, it's 90 minutes, 15, 240, and no. So I'm going to explain. The 90 minutes is user will get 90 minutes before the computer get rebooted. So they have um, 90 minutes before a false reboot. And the 15 minutes here, that mean there is a dialog box that stays on for 15 minutes before a false reboot. So 15 minutes before reboot, the status, um, the dialog box stays on. That's what it is. Um, so specify the snoo duration for computer restart. This will not take effect until you change this to yes. You see what I'm saying? So right now, if I say no, user will see the balloon pop up on the lower right corner. This is what they will see with the current settings. So I'm going to change this to yes. As soon as I change to yes, user will not see this anymore. They will see this. This will come on and it stays on until user click on restart or click on snooze. So, so this number here, it has to be smaller than this number, or it can be higher than the second number here. So I'm going to, so just let's play this, let's play around with this. Give it 10 minutes. And I want, I'm going to give this five minutes. And I'm going to give this um, two minutes. So what I do here is that user have 10 minutes to reboot their computer. This will, sh the second number will stay on. The dialog box will stay on for five minutes until the, um, until it's reboot. So two minutes here, that means user have two minutes so I'm sorry. Um, so two minutes here, that mean once the, the number 
10 minutes come uh, count down so once the eight minutes come up they will get a, a second the screen to say hey your computer need a reboot you can snooze so this is after eight minutes two minutes minus ten is eight so I'm going to show you exactly how it works here so let's do that for now five and two and click yes click apply and I'm going to deploy it to my test device All right, I'm going to um, force the policy so the device will check in. Right click on it. Oops. Device 04, I'm going to right click and then go into client notification, download computer policy. So now that settings will take effect. So now let's test it out. I'm going to deploy a Windows Update Package. November Updates. So I'm going to right click on this software update groups and then November 2019. Right click and go to Deploy. Oops, wrong one. Let's see, close it out again. Let's go back in, deploy. Let's just gonna call this November updates copy. I'm gonna choose the collection. Looks good. Click next. It's gonna be a required. As soon as possible make sure it's client local time and as soon as possible I'm going to click next I'm going to display center and shows all notifications that's fine or I can choose an options to only shows when computer need restart deadline behavior main and windows that's fine device restart behavior so make sure you don't check these if you check that means you're going to suppress the reboot filter that's fine software update deployment reevaluate upon restart yeah i'm going to check this box I'm going to click next looks good there i don't need to do anything here download i'm going to check on download software update from distribution point Deployment options, download and install. I'm going to check these two boxes um, just in case the client won't be able to find the contents. It can pull from a Microsoft website. Click next and next. All right, now let's go back to um, my computer again and I'm going to force the policy. Download computer policy and I'm so also I'm going to force the, the update scan. Evaluate software updates. All right. Now I'm going to view the logs. So for Windows update logs you want to view is you go under CCM, under Windows CCM and then logs. The file you want to view is called WinHandler. W A handler. You want to right click and open it or double click. So it should start installing. You should see all the updates get installed on in this log file. This is completely successfully complete scan. 
let, let me log into this machine and just going to manually force it again. Configuration manager, action, I'm going to force evaluate machine policy. And I'm going to software update scan evaluation. I'm going to do all these for um, for faster updates or evaluate. So now um, it's going to take some time. Um, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back. Now let's take a look at the cache folder. I should see the contents is being downloaded. All right, once again, uh, it's going to take some time. Um, probably there's a lot of Windows updates to install. All right, now let's take a look here. Um, it looks like sync search for all software updates. And let's look at the, as you can see here, all the updates will be installed. Um, let's look at the cache folder and the content has been downloaded. And it, it is installing, so let's look at the log files. So far, so good. I just want to show you the the um, the reboot screen or the reboot dialog box when the um, when the updates finish. It's just waiting to install. Let's give it a few more minutes. All right, as you can see here, um, looks like the Adobe update is getting installed. Windows malicious. It's also getting installed. And this one, this update does not require reboot. This is probably the um, the Windows, the um, Adobe updates. So the Microsoft one. This one probably going to require reboot. All right. So as you can see here, the initial restart is 10 minutes. And if I look at the uh, software center here, it says restart required. And if I look at the log files, it's going to tell me reboot required. So if if I snooze three minutes later, I'm gonna get. Let's look at the settings here for client settings. Custom reboot. So after two minutes, um, if I snooze, and after two minutes later, it's gonna come up again. Let's. I'm gonna snooze. So the first time it allowed me to snooze. So it allowed you to snooze twice. The very first one, the second one, and then the last uh, dialog box is gonna, you can't snooze, it's gonna, you're gonna have to reboot the machines. All right, so that's two, it's gonna take two minutes. Um, let's wait and see. 
so the setting is two minutes and at five minutes it's gonna the dialog box stays on all right so it's this is the second snooze and if I click on snooze it's going the the, uh, the next one it's going to stay on the snooze will be grayed out so I'm going to click on snooze and we'll pause the video and we'll come back all right guys so here it is the final um, reboot dialog box as you can see I got less than five minutes I'm gonna close this out so the only options is to wait or force a reboot that's it that's that's all it is about um, SSM reboot or SSM native reboot thank you for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe have a great day